Hi, I'm Michelle Zemba, certified Tai Chi and Tai Chi Fit instructor. Why don't you come do some Tai Chi with me today? There's nothing to learn, nothing to remember, and we're going to actually get some good energy brewing today. So let's start off with this. Feet are just about shoulder apart, just standing around. Let's first like get grounded and get rooted today. I'm going to do that by bringing the weight of my body more towards the balls of my feet. And I'm going to catch a ball right in front. And then I'm going to shift my weight slightly to the heels of my feet and my hands are going to come out by my side. And then I'm going to start to shift that weight to the balls of my feet again. My hands come together almost like I'm catching a ball here in the middle. And then my weight is going to shift to my heels and my hands come out to my sides. Now stay soft in the knees and gentle in the hips. When you bring your hands out to your side, that changes the center of gravity for you. So you don't want to wobble and fall over. It's just a very slight movement. I think of inhaling as I open my hands and then exhaling catching the ball in front of me and I inhale my hands open up to the sides nice good breath exhale catch the ball here right in front of us just a few more times nice exhale catch that ball Then from here, we'll catch that ball in the center. And I'm going to bring that ball up to my chest. I'm even going to make my feet a little bit further than shoulder width apart. And I'm going to dig down into the earth. And I'm going to scoop up high overhead. And then straight down through the middle of the body, I'm going to scoop again. And then lift and then scoop down into the ground and high up overhead. I think they call this one, old lady digs a hole in the ground. She's gotta be planting a pretty darn big garden. And dig. And scoop high above your head. Two more times. One last time. And then what we're going to do, our hands are going to come high up over our head. We'll let them come down just about above the head. And then we're going to push up to the sky. Hands circle out and down, bending in the knees, protecting that lower back, and then pulling up through the middle of the body. Push, 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 push. And then hands circle down in front of the torso and we're pulling up through the middle of the body, pushing up towards the sky. If the first one is the old lady digging a hole, this one's got to be the old guy filling the hole back up, right? Yin and yang. A nice lift and push two more times. Nice lift and push one last time. Fantastic. Hands come up nice and tall. My palms are going to turn over. I'm going to sink them down through the floor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a ball. I'm going to bring it about shoulder height. And then I'm going to bring that ball back down. I'm going to pick the ball back up. And then I'm going to bring it back down one last time. Pick that ball up about shoulder height and then put it back down. Good job. Whew. Relax for a minute. I'm going to bring my feet a little bit closer together. We're going to warm up the hips just a little bit more. So this knee from the inside out, I'm going to circle five times. I'm 
think this is kind of difficult. Just wait. Ready? We're going to take that knee from the outside in five times. Good. How about other leg? Inside out. Whew. My hips are getting warm. How about from the outside in? All right, looks like that. Five times. I'm not counting. <laughs> Good job. Back into the center. Now that those hips are nice and warm, let's try this again a little bit further. Shoulder width apart. That stance goes. Take that ball. We're going to pick that ball up. We are now great warriors. We are all the same great warrior. This hand on this side is going to make an L, right? Ding, ding, ding. Or like you're going to shoot your finger gun there. And I'm going to make it long. I'm going to make my arm real long. That other hand is going to take some strings of a bow and draw them in the opposite direction. I'm going to relax. I'm going to come back into the middle. I'm going to catch that ball. That ball is going to come down. I pick the ball up. Other hand, other side. Big L, big long draw. Pull the strings with the other hand. Yeah, not so bad, huh? Take the ball in the middle. Bring that ball down. That ball's going to come up. Letter L. Take the strings. We're drawing the bow. Back into the center. Take the ball. Ball comes down. Now when we draw the bow, we're going to sink a little bit in the knees as well. Make it look all fancy like we are super warriors. Because inside each and every one of us is a secret ninja warrior. So here I'm going to draw that bow and I'm going to sink in my knees. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to catch that ball and the ball is going to come down. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to draw the bow to the other direction. I'm going to inhale, catch my ball and I'm going to bring that ball down. Nice inhale, drawing the ball up. Draw my bow and sink back into the center. I take that ball and I draw it down. We can be a little bit more fancy with our bow and arrow. My mom and dad were always on my case about picking up after myself. So think of all of the bows being on the ground in front of us. So I'm going to draw my bow and then I'm going to let go of my strings and I'm going to scoop down and pick up all of my arrows. My hands cross right in front of the chest, other hand, other side. I'm going to draw the bow and sink. I'm going to let go of my arrows, or I'm sorry, my strings and scoop down and pick up all of my arrows. Right? So this is a draw and a sink and scoop around to pick up the mess we just left in the woods. Draw the bow and sink. Let go of your strings and pick up all of your bows. Draw and sink. All the way around. And sink. Good job. Couple more times. breath in, exhale, and sink, scooping around. The forest has never been so clean. <laughs> Let's do one more time each side. And sink, and release, lift. Last time, oh, my legs, catch that ball in the center, ooh, and then push that ball down through the earth. I'm going to bring my legs a little bit closer back together. Thank goodness we warmed up those hips today. How about a nice big breath up 
and then sank. And you know that shifting of weight from side to side felt good. Oh, how about a nice little sway from one side to the other? Relieve some tension in those legs and in those hips. And while we're swaying our weight from foot to foot, right? What I like to think of as weight management. I managed to get it over here and then I managed to get it over here. I'm going to actually empty the other foot and do a heel tap on each side. And then from here, that heel, same side, that same hand is going to hang out over my toes. Something fun to do. And the other hand is going to hang out in front of my knee. This is called play the peepaw. I'm going to make my hands fancy and elegant. I'm going to circle them all the way down and around, and then they're going to find that sweet spot. They're going to circle down and around. Sweet spot. Play the peepaw. Nice circling around. Boom. Circle around. Boom. You guys are doing so great. I am so excited to have you with me today. Last time. From here, hug a big tree, best friend, feet side by side, open through the chest. Come back into the center. Hands turn over and sink. Float up by my side, into the center, my hands will turn over, and I'll sink. Again, into the center, sinking my chi, and then my hands are going to float straight up in front of me, about shoulder height-ish, and then they're going to drop straight down. This is called opening the door. I don't know why they call it opening the door, it's more like flip the sheets. Right? Exhale down. Nice big breath up. Exhale down. Here, hands are going to cross right in front of us. Big circle all the way around. And then scoop down. Rounding, rounding, rounding. Nice big scoop. Rounding, rounding, rounding. Nice inhale. Exhale, hands float down. Nice inhale. And exhale. So from here, my hands are going to come up to my shoulders. I'm going to turn them over and let them sink down into the floor. From about my waist, they're going to bounce. Boing! They're going to trace the big Buddha belly. <laughs> I'm going to lift up into my shoulders again, relax my arms down, my hands are going to circle. My thumb and fingertips are going to come together and then I'm going to push my hands towards you, moving my shoulder blades away from one another. And then I'm going to relax. My hands are going to circle around again, coming down towards the floor, they're going to bounce, boing. They're going to trace the big Buddha belly. <laughs> Santa's always watching, you know, lifting up into the shoulders and down. Hands are going to circle around. My thumb and my fingertips are going to touch. I'm going to push my hands away, my shoulder blades away from one another. And relax. And a nice big circle sinking into the floor. You did awesome today. Thanks for hanging out. My name's Michelle Zemba. I'm a Tai Chi and Tai Chi Fit instructor from Western Massachusetts. Sashien.